Well, heroes are being honored tonight. The Congressional Medal of Honor Society gathering in Knoxville this evening for the annual Citizen Honors Awards Dinner. Four people in all being recognized for this prestigious honor, two of which are teenagers. Six on your side's Wes Cooper spoke with the teens tonight. A night of elegance and humbleness in Knoxville as dozens are in town to show support for those who go the extra mile. 562 miles is how far I live from here. Uh, some of the guys live out in California. <laughs> Veteran Sammy L. Davis says it's always a privilege getting back together with his military family, but Friday was about recognizing citizens whose actions truly define courage. We're just biking around, and all of a sudden we hear a lady on for help. Dominic Veed and Joseph Diner are from Missouri and sprang into action last summer when they heard that call for help. The two teens saved a woman from drowning during a flash flood. Swam out there and got her off the pole. I, at one point, I grabbed the pole to see like what it was like. It was super slick. I don't know how she stayed on there for that long. She was started coughing up water for a little bit. We, we are trained for CPR, so we could have done that, but it didn't look like she needed that. Uh, and then the fire department came soon after and gave her the right care she needed. Dominic and Joseph are two of the four Citizen Award honorees, and they say they don't think twice when it comes to lending a helping hand. More people need to be able, like, be, have the mindset to just do something like that and, like, be able to swim or just be able to save someone else who needs help. The boys add they haven't reconnected with the woman they saved, but hope she is doing well. In Knoxville, Wes Cooper, WAT6 on your side. All right, Wes, thank you. Other citizen honorees included Jonathan Bauer, who saved a two year old during a car crash in Maryland, and Captain Brett Stork, a Texas firefighter who rescued a woman from a burning car.